Hello again, YouTubers, I'm with Spongebob 101, back here again on the Spongebob channel with part 20 of our Spongebob Adventures in a Jab playthrough. So today we are back here in the jousting arena, we've got some random extra rewards here, and we are on this quest, Tired Knight. So, well, pretty simple as long as we have the energy, we all have, just, we basically just have to remove stuff here. So let's do that, and in total we have six of them, two of them are done. So let's hop over to this side, and uh, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be getting any jousting action, but I could be wrong, you know. I mean, I'm not sure how they're going to animate that uh, into the actual map, but maybe we get a cutscene or something. So let's see what happens here. Basically, again, we're just supposed to clear this area of the obstacles. Okay, so I do like the um, this little sword in the rock obstacle. Uh, of course, it's based on the uh, medieval thing. I'm not sure what it's exactly what exactly it's called, but uh, yeah, that sword in the rock is a medieval thing. Okay, so let's continue removing the obstacles here, and then, where are we supposed to, oh, okay, so that one right there. Again, we've got his uh, magic pencil erasing the obstacles. We're now standing in the fog, uh, which is pretty cool. Oh, and a pot of gold, some action figures, I think. Okay, day one daily reward that is in the bag. And now let's continue with our obstacle removal here. So just gonna quickly remove, well, as many items as possible here. I'm not really sure which one is the key one that removes the um, fog, but okay, so that one is one of them. And then I assume that metal glove thing would be the other. Yeah, all right, so 30. You're out of energy again. Gonna quickly get some from the sugar squeeze cart. And then back over here. Back over here, let's remove that. And the first part of the quest is done. So now we have to help Ethan. Well, it doesn't really differentiate which one of them you're helping in a sense like we're just doing the same thing. Right? We're just removing obstacles here, but now we really need to wait till we get more energy. Okay, so now the energy has, well, respawned or regenerated. So let's continue here. We've got one out of three. The second one over on the bottom left-hand corner, or just the bottom of the screen. Patch is going to jump on it. Ooh, a chest of random stuff. And then we have that item right there. Another chest of weapons. And we're out of energy again. Okay, so let's do the sugar squeeze once more. There we go. And now back to medieval moments. Okay, so that one's done. And now we just have the very last one and we should be done with this quest. It's right there. Well, uh, they could have told me that in the first place. All right, we are most grateful for your aid with the jousting arena, says Kyle. No problem, it's joust what we do. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, okay. It's good to see it free of the Derbis, Derbis, <laughs> what? And there's still debris on there. What did you just say? Is is it good to see it free of Derbis? Okay, so that's definitely a typo. It's pronounced debris. Whatever, Kyle. So was that intentional or not? Anyway, new friends, would style enjoy a ride on a seahorse? Wait, are we actually gonna joust? Boy, woods we. First, we must find you some proper knightly attire. Okay, so. Where are we gonna get that? Just gonna walk down there, disappear, quest complete. Alrighty, so next line, cute or dangerous. Who is this? Oh, there's an, <laughs> well, I didn't even notice that. So we do need seahorse melt, oyster uh, pearls, and the jellyfish jelly or jam. Um, and uh, that means we gotta make some more feed. So I'm gonna settle all of that and we'll be back. So we have collected all of the items there. Let's open the cage and the lionfish is coming out. Is it gonna eat us? Is it? SpongeBob, do you see who I see? If you see who I see, then yes, it's the lionfish. Why are they not scared? He's always been pretty honest with me. <laughs> what? No, silly. The lionfish, not the lionfish. I like SpongeBob laughing there. Yeah, I don't trust that lionfish, angry Patrick. Wait, what were you talking about? Yeah, um, the lionfish, I think. Uh, the lionfish. Alright, let's see if he wants to be friends. 
Well, I'm a little bit skeptical. Grrr. <laughs> Maybe we should try feeding him first. Look at SpongeBob's expression right there. He's like streaking. Um, good stuff. Very good stuff. Okay, so the lionfish is gonna swim around, and uh, what's he gonna do? Gonna eat us? No, he just disappears. Okay, so Lion Cuda Dangerous quest complete. We got a sausage. That's a really random reward. And okay, so now we have to continue our way through the lattice. So I totally. Forgot to see what that required us to do. Oh, forever glue. Okay, so we're gonna have to get some forever glue um, and see. I didn't see exactly how much we needed, so I probably shouldn't have just gone back right there. Let's see again. Oh, okay, 53. Yeah, that worked out. So we are in another hall. What's next? Quest complete. And now, inner sanctum. Clear the inner sanctum. Okay, so again, back to the whole clearing thing. And uh, we're just gonna keep doing it. Nothing different in terms of like obstacles. So, well, we're just gonna have to do that. So that's one. And then we need the second one. So that's through the chair. And we got some energy from Gary as well. So that's pretty helpful. Wait a minute. I just, I'm pretty sure that was like five. So maybe not so helpful at all. They might have actually made a change from when it was first the case that Gary distributed energy. Usually, you had to wait longer for Gary to give you the energy, as opposed to now. At least that's what I've observed. But that I could be I could be wrong in the sense that it was always like that. Um, but anyways, we do have to do the sugar squeeze. So let's do that, and let's try the candy vending machine as well. That's gonna give us a little bit more. Okay. Back to medieval moments here, so let's remove that. 19. So the first part is done, the second part. Got two more obstacles to get through. And, you know, sometimes I really just wonder why the game was designed like that. And um, my main, most cynical, like, uh, thought about it was basically just to make you spend real money for the gems and then get the energy so you just saw there you could actually get more energy by using gems but anyways i'll talk about that some other time welcome to our inner sanctum is that code for bathroom <laughs> what uh okay it is now wait he's playing along ethan behave yourself okay that was probably just a joke fine what's our new friend's favor some nightly attire well, sure, I, I guess. I think so. Huzzah! Let us get you in your outfit. An outfit fit for lads over your station. Isn't huzzah like a navy thing? This is pretty exciting, SpongeBob. And now, hey we to the seahorse stable. Okay. Oh, okay. We're in our medieval gear from Dunces and Dragons. Great that they actually implemented that in. So, yeah, cool. Inner Sanctum quest complete. Next up, leave the Colosseum. So we need a lot of forever glue. Let's go get some. We need 50 in total. And over here, still cooling down. I'm just gonna skip through. Okay, gonna have to get a little bit more. I'm gonna skip again and try two more rounds. So that's one and that is two. Okay, so we should have enough uh, forever glue right now to open that door which is strange like if you were to open a door why would you want to glue it you know <laughs> and and use pins so i'm not sure why that's the case but apparently it is so yeah uh, we can collect a couple of things here smash our way through a little bit leave the coliseum quest complete and then lost throw okay so we got a riding lessons that's gonna happen soon, but lost throw, clear the pass, clear the pass, and clear the pass. I think we're gonna leave off right here for this video. Guys, make sure to subscribe, like, and uh, next time we'll actually go find those seahorses in their stable. So till then, see you guys in the next video. Bye.